Hey everyone, and welcome to the Human Existence Channel. Today, we're taking a journey back in time to explore one of the most fascinating periods in human history, the Silk Road. The Silk Road wasn't just about silk. It was a vast network of trade routes stretching from China to the Mediterranean, bustling with life and activity for over 1,500 years. The Han Dynasty of China opened for trade in 153 BCE and bartering continued until 1453 when the Ottoman Empire closed off trade with the West. So buckle up as we delve into the lives of the people who made this incredible journey possible. Imagine yourself a merchant, setting off from Chang'an with a camel caravan loaded with precious silk. Your journey will be long and arduous, crossing scorching deserts, treacherous mountains, and even the watchful eyes of bandits. But the potential rewards are high, for in distant lands, your silk could fetch a king's ransom. The Silk Road wasn't just a single highway, but a sprawling network of veins, pulsating with life and trade for centuries. We embark on a journey across three major routes, each offering unique challenges and breathtaking highlights. Imagine yourself braving the harsh beauty of the northern route, traversing the Tian Shan Mountains and the Taklamakan Desert. This land route, nicknamed the Road of Bones due to its treacherous nature, connected China to Central Asia and beyond. Merchants battled freezing winds, scorching sun, and the watchful eyes of nomadic tribes. But the rewards were substantial, with cities like Samarkand and Kashgar offering vibrant markets and cultural encounters. Let's shift south, where the sun beats down on the southern route. Caravans laden with silk snake their way through scorching deserts, oasis havens, and bustling port cities like Baghdad and Alexandria. Now, let's set sail on the maritime route, a vital artery connecting China to India, Southeast Asia, and beyond. Imagine junks traversing the monsoon winds, laden with spices, porcelain, and precious metals. This route fostered cultural exchange and technological advancements, like the compass used by skilled navigators. Traders embarking on this router faced unpredictable weather conditions, had to navigate pirate-infested waters, and adapt to diverse cultural norms. Yet, the rewards are alluring. Your silk could fetch aromatic spices from India, exquisite glassware from Rome, or even the secret of gunpowder from the mysterious East. But trade is just one facet. Imagine haggling with a Persian trader, sharing tea with a Mongolian warrior, or witnessing the artistry of Byzantine goldsmiths. These encounters are where the true cultural exchange happens, shaping perspectives and fostering understanding. Life on the Silk Road wasn't for the faint of heart. Journeys could stretch for months, pushing human resilience to its limits. Imagine battling sandstorms, hunger pangs, and loneliness in desolate landscapes. Yet, humanity finds solace in camaraderie. Caravanserais, havens along the route, offered rest, shared meals, and stories around crackling fires. These fortified havens, strategically placed along trade routes, offered more than just rest. They were pulsating hubs of commerce, cultural exchange, and human connection. Towering walls constructed of mud brick or stone, enclosing a central courtyard bustling with activity. Merchants from diverse backgrounds, Chinese silk traders, Persian spice vendors, nomadic herders, haggle over goods, their languages weaving a vibrant tapestry of sound. A sturdy blacksmith repairs a caravan's broken axle, while a storyteller enthralls a group with tales of distant lands. In the kitchen, chefs from various traditions prepare meals, the aroma of spices mingling with the warmth of shared laughter. Caravanserais weren't just hotels. They were melting pots of cultures, fostering understanding and breaking down barriers. Beyond functionality, the architecture of caravanserais reflects the diverse influences of the Silk Road. Soaring arches and intricate mosaics, a testament to Persian craftsmanship. Look above, 
and you'll see prayer rooms catering to Muslims, Buddhists, and Christians, a silent ode to religious tolerance. These details remind us that the Silk Road wasn't just about material goods. It was a dialogue of cultures, enriching the lives of all who passed through. The Silk Road unveiled breathtaking beauty. Imagine marveling at the star-studded desert sky, crossing snow-capped mountains, or witnessing the desert bloom after weeks of drought. These experiences fueled awe and appreciation for the diverse world travelers traversed. The Silk Road's impact transcended material goods. It was a highway of ideas where religions, philosophies, and artistic styles intermingled. Imagine Buddhist monks carrying their teachings westward, Chinese architectural influences in Persia, or the spread of papermaking from China to Europe. The bustling markets of Chang'an were the starting point of the Silk Road. Chinese papermaking and gunpowder technologies traveled westward, revolutionizing warfare and communication. In return, Buddhism arrived from India, enriching Chinese spiritual life. This exchange fueled artistic innovation, blending Chinese motifs with Western styles in stunning ceramics and paintings. Roman merchants eagerly awaiting exotic spices and silk from the East. The Silk Road fueled Rome's demand for luxury goods, boosting trade and influencing fashion trends. However, the influx of goods also contributed to Rome's economic imbalances, as imports drained precious metals from the empire. Despite the challenges, the Silk Road exposed Romans to diverse cultures and philosophies, leaving a lasting mark on their civilization. As trade flourished, merchant classes rose in prominence. Wealth flowed into their hands, creating new social hierarchies. These merchants, exposed to diverse cultures, became agents of change, influencing local customs and fashions. Chinese merchants introducing tea to Persian households, or a Roman trader bartering for Indian spices, forever altering their culinary landscape. The Silk Road wasn't without its economic challenges. Inflation grew as imported goods increased. Local industries faced competition from foreign wares. Look closer, and you'll see farmers adapting their crops to meet new demands, while artisans honed their skills to compete with imported goods. This economic dynamism spurred innovation and adaptation, shaping economies along the Silk Road. We've reached the end of our Silk Road journey, but the stories still echo. Look around you today. See that fusion restaurant, that spice rack in your kitchen, those clothes you're wearing? They all carry whispers of the Silk Road, remnants of a time when cultures met and exchanged their treasures. It reminds us that connection, understanding, and the pursuit of adventure are timeless values. So wherever you go, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep building bridges between cultures. Thank you for traveling with us. And if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more content.